All right, knife nerds. Here's another one from Brother. This is the new brand I've found that I'm digging quite a lot. So this is the model 1507. Um, this one has VG10 and some different steel from these other ones. So if you remember, I had the 1505 Max in D2. And then we had that one, which is kind of like a really nice, light, thin. That's the model 1512. So this one's got Micarta. That's got G10. This one's uh, very thin and light. It's 440C. And to me, it's almost like the uh, a bug out. That size, that, that type of weight. So this one is also made in China from the same company. This one was 42. And let's see what we like about it. Go over the specs. So this is the model 1507. As with the other ones, comes in a pouch. And like the other ones, probably gonna be dripping with oil, and it is. So let's give that a quick wipe, if we will. And let's get that all cleaned off. Don't know why they do that. I mean, you gotta oil the pivots and stuff, but I don't want, there's nothing on here that's gonna corrode. So I'm not really sure why they slather it with oil like that. But they do. So let's get that opened up, cleaned off, and ready to do the review. So this is the model 1507, as you can see uh, on the blade there. This uses VG10 steel. This one is a little bit smaller than the 1505 Max, but not much. But it does weigh a good bit less. There's definitely less, less weight in there. Got a really cool carbon fiber and that is actual, that's not like plastic pressed to make it look like a pattern. That's actually carbon fiber, which is kind of cool. So that's, I like that for sure. And let's see, no proud pins. That's good. We'll get the oil out of the rest down in there in a minute. Um, nice little clip, little clip point style. Got a nice little swedge. It's a high flat grind. Feels plenty sharp. We'll, we'll do a sharpness test in a minute. Let's go over the specs here. So we're looking at a three inch blade on the dot with a cutting edge of about 2.8 or so. Um, let's see, it is a solid lockback. Talked about carbon fiber. So we got three inch blade, just barely under seven inches on the, uh, on, the, on the overall length. So it's definitely on the smaller side, but it's not that small. I mean, I can still get a decent grip. I would say it's long enough, but it's noticeably thinner this way and this way compared to this. This tends to fill the hand up a little bit more. Or if I were to grab something like Swiss Army Knife, I don't remember which one this one is. It's not the Hiker, is it the Trekker? Might be the Trekker. In any case, you know, that, you know, that's a big fat handle that really fills up your hand. This doesn't. So this is more of like a gentleman's EDC um, Nice solid lockup, really no wiggle left or right. And the blade is loose, but not quite as loose as this one. Ugh. That should break in over time. This one, if I let, if I push the button, that'll swing enough that it'll come and actually hit my fingers. So, so what have we got? I definitely like it. I like the blade is definitely machined and finished nice. Um, that little nail nick is, is really nice. I, I kind of prefer those types of nail nicks to these. This one's okay. Um, it works well enough. That is actually deep, but like on some of the bokers, you know, they're not that thick. They're not that deep. So a lot of times you go to grab it and you, you if your thumbnail is really short, like mine is, sometimes you have a hard time grabbing it. Now this one luckily is a really light spring. And so is this one. This one's actually really, really light, loose. This one you could probably... Almost open it one-handed. Yeah, you can. So those are okay. I just, I, I like the look of that than, than the half moon shape. Don't know why, just an aesthetic for me. Um, but it just, it, you grab it anywhere with your finger and it's like a little shelf. It just, your finger grabs it, you get good traction, opens up really nice. Uh, point seems fairly stabby. Oh yeah. Nice and sharp. Very nice blade. Nicer edge than that one came with out of the box. I had to touch that one up. Let's see if it does a push test. Oh, well, not quite sharp enough for the push test. 
So that's okay. Most of my knives, oh, there. So it depends on maybe where on the blade you get it. So up there, let's see, maybe it's just it's a little bit of a straighter edge there. But as far as doing slice tests, very nice, effortless, glides right through the paper. I don't know if that one does a push test. No, nope. see, that one doesn't do it either. And that actually has a pretty nice edge on it as well. So anyway, it's not about the Swiss Army knife. It's about this little guy. So what do I like? What do I not like? I like the fact that the pins are not proud. They're actually really flush. They've done a good job here. I don't really see any gaps or anything like that. There's no wiggle left to right. I mean, you, you, there's always a tiny bit, but I mean, there's nothing abnormally high about it. In fact, I'd say it's less than most. Um, button actuation's pretty good. A little bit of grittiness, I can hear that. So those are those two metal edges, the 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 the, the liners, and then the lock bar. Eh, Mike could use a little bit of a, a polishing before they'd assemble it. Now the good news on that is that the metal on metal is just going to smooth itself out and take any burrs off. So that's going to you know those burrs will knock themselves off over time. So not a big deal there. Do I like it? Yeah, I mean it's on the smaller side. Weight-wise, it's a little heavier than this one. This one is a really light knife, and that's because um, the blade is very thin. They're both very thin. The difference is that this has steel liners all the way through, and it has the nickel-silver uh, bolsters on both ends, and this doesn't. This just has a brass washer with the, with the pin through it. And everything else is G10 or fiberglass or whatever kind of polymer that is. Or maybe it's just two different color G10s. So that one is definitely lighter because there's just nothing in the handle. This is a little bit of a beefier knife. Um, do, which one do I like better? Um, yeah, that's a tough call. I would say... This one's definitely thinner and just a little bit bigger in your hand. So and it's a little bit of a bigger blade. So I do kind of like that one, but the carbon fiber feels really good. I like the emblem on there. I like um, the, the, the carbon fiber feels really good. So that is a nice, I will say the, the action there, not quite as snappy. It feels like there's definitely a little bit more friction in here. So I think that's going to have to kind of work itself out. And usually I'll just sit there on the couch and, you know, put a drop of oil in there and then just work it back and forth. And that will eventually just kind of, the metal again will wear on that. Those are things that I think are, you know, either get one that just had no burrs on it and it came out of the box really, really smooth. Like these. This one I would say just has that little bit of grittiness. But I'll be honest, it's less than like most of the case knives I buy. It's less than a lot of the lockbacks. You know, again, we're not dealing with steel ball bearings and pivots and or, uh, steel ball bearings, uh, ceramic ball bearings or, or any of that kind of stuff. There's usually, um, you know, those types of knives are just like butter out of the box. This is an older metal on metal traditional style knife. And as a result, you're going to have those, you know, a little bit, it needs a little bit of break in. You're going to have that little bit of extra uh, friction and stuff there. But I just need to continue cleaning the oil out of this thing. And it's a nice little knife. I don't see any of the pins there. Nope, nothing there. Inside, it seems well made enough. This also has, which I like, has the stop pin. So you got that stop pin. So when you close this, when it does start picking up that walk and talk as that grittiness goes away and it wears in and loosens up a little bit, it's gonna go smack like that one or that one. And as a result of having that stop pin, here you got polymer there, so it's not gonna nick that anyway, but it, it, that stop pin's really nice. A lot of knives, ones that cost more money than these, don't have that. And as a result, that blade will often go and smack into something inside there. And I don't, I don't like that. It nicks up your blade. And their answer to it is, well, just keep sharpening the blade, and eventually you remove enough material that the blade no longer hits it. And it's like, yeah, but then you're wearing it up into the blade, and you're getting into a thicker part of the blade, and it loses some of that sliciness. 
it, to me, it seems like a that's a solution to a problem that that shouldn't exist to begin with, you know. So that's the Model 1507. So I'm going to add that to my collection for my 1505 Max and then the 1512. I'd say of these, which do I prefer? I don't know. That's a tough call. They're all really nice. This Micarta is really nice. It, it's just, the blade is just, this action is just amazing. It's so smooth without having excessive blade play. But this one just came dialed in pretty well. This one I would say is almost as good, but not quite. But it's thinner, a little longer. This one kind of is kind of in between these in that it's, it's it's smaller and it's of around the same length as this, but it's not so heavy and beefy. Um, it's a little more thin, like this, but it's got the nicer touches. It's it's it feels like a this feels like a stronger knife. This seems like a more premium knife, um, even if you take out the uh, the factor that it's you know 440C versus VG10. VG10 is a good step up, um, but having the the bolsters on the end, whereas here it's just washers and stuff. This gives you a little bit more of the smaller, thinner, little lighter EDC than this guy, which has a lot of metal in the handle, um, while being a little more premium. So it kind of bridges the gaps, gives you the lightness and thinness of this guy, but the nicer fit and finish of that. So that is the brother. I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning this all up. But that's a nice little knife. Wouldn't mind it if it was a little bit bigger. But if you haven't checked these guys out, go ahead and give them a look. They're making really nice stuff. And I like mentioned in the other videos, it would not surprise me if these guys were made in the same factory or had some kind of connection to Rough Rider Reserve. It's just the way they put things together when you hold this next to a Rough Rider Reserve. There's definitely some similarities that makes me wonder. Um, if there isn't some sort of uh, connection between the two. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. But it's a Chinese-made knife. It, it's, it's a really nicely made knife. I'm definitely digging it. The VG10 is nice. And for $42, that is a solid, nice little gentleman's EDC. Sort of traditional, but tradition meets uh, higher tech with carbon fiber and stuff like that. So you got kind of a new meets old. So anyway, if you haven't checked them out yet, I strongly suggest you give them a look. There'll be a link to it uh, for Amazon in the description.